We are now just 124 days away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that there will be tons of different connections to the prequels and the originals that will be used in unique and original ways by J.J. and George Lucas to really benefit many of the new characters such as Kylo Ren and Rey and some of the brand brand new characters that we have yet to see in the Star Wars franchise. Now on top of all of this we do know that this film is really going to reshape the franchise and that JJ is using it as a foundation to create new Star Wars lore and to insert new aspects of the Star Wars franchise. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now specifically a description of all nine dark acolytes surrounding a large stone structure that is said to be in the middle of a large grass field with a thunderstorm in the background with terrifying lightning strikes where it's said that the dark acolytes are performing a complex ritual that is said to involve the Sith Wraith of Anakin slash Vader. It's explained that one of the sequences is described to involve Matt Smith's character pressing his hands into the ground where the melted Darth Vader charred armor is said to be next to him where the hybrid force ghost of Anakin slash Vader emerges from the ground where it's said that this is where the Dark Acolytes use a power far greater than the dark side to create the hybrid force ghost of Anakin slash Vader. It's explained that this Sith Wraith holds a power far greater than the dark side that is used as a supplement to bring in Palpatine's Sith Wraith and that is planned to take over the lead Dark Acolyte's body. It's described that this was only made possible through the creation of the Sith Wraith of Vader slash Anakin since they used the charred armor as a conduit to also bring in Palpatine's Sith spirit. The sequence is said to be dark and gritty and gives a tease of what's to come in the third act of the film. So let's go over a couple of parts about this and why this sounds like something that you would think what J.J. Abrams would have done in episode 7. He actually did have an original idea in case you guys did not know for The Force Awakens that would include the Dark Acolytes resurrecting Darth Vader and Anakin in some way, shape, or form. So it's very intriguing now that we do know that the nine Dark Acolytes are the one responsible for creating the actual Sith Wraith of Anakin slash Vader in Star Wars Episode 9. And what I find so fascinating about this is that not only does this actually have a connection to JJ's original idea from Episode 7, but this is also digging into Star Wars Legends. We saw great examples of this in Star Wars Legends in a very similar way that is now being brought into the Disney canon as well as by Lucasfilm. Now, what I like about this also is that it's explained that the hybrid force ghost of Anakin is said to contain a power far greater than the dark side itself and that it is used as a supplement used as a supplement to bring in the Sith Wraith of Palpatine himself into the mortal world and out of the spiritual realm. Now what I like about that is that this is really getting heavy on Jedi, Sith, and Force lore and how the Nine Dark Acolytes are really using this to their own advantage to really become more powerful. Now this is of course all geared toward the lead uh, Dark Acolyte mostly because this is the lead Dark Acolyte doing this. He's pressing his hands into the ground and he's able to do this next to the charred Vader armor where the actual wraith of Darth Vader slash Anakin emerges from the ground and they use that power in order to bring in the Palpatine Sith spirit. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this seems like that J.J. is really taking Star Wars in a completely different direction than what we would have ever experienced before on the big screen. And honestly, I will say that I welcome this. I really like this idea that J.J. Abrams is really trying to insert into Episode 9 and what he's really trying to do to make this movie stand on its own and to separate itself from both The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Now, the Sith Wraith of Vader slash Anakin, also known as the Hybrid Force Ghost, where it shifts between both Anakin and Vader, what I love so much about this is that it's very dark and gritty, and we do know that J.J. wanted to create darker elements of the Star Wars franchise that would actually combat against, of course, Revenge of the Sith. He wants to create darker elements in the Rise of Skywalker than Revenge of the Sith ever was. And to me, I think that's going to be a very hard task to complete, but I will admit that this most certainly does reach the top of the list of that big attempt by J.J., Chris Terrio, and even George Lucas. And the last thing I just want to go over here is that 
We also know that episode 9 is going to introduce new types of Star Wars lore that is not only inspired from Legends, but is also something very original by J.J. Abrams in order to create new content for the future and where the movies and the live action TV series are going once episode 9 releases come December of this year. And honestly, I cannot wait to see exactly what they have planned and how this is all going to come out on the big screen for the fans around the world. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.